I was not a Muslim before, but now I'm trying to be a Muslim. Yeah. I cannot keep my heart and mind still when I saw people who says they are Muslim but doing bad and crucial things to other creatures. Also, some people are cruel to other human beings just because they are not Muslim. And what is your question? Okay. You see, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In Islam, the shahadat, the prayers, the fasting, the zakat, the hajj, meaning all the external actions that defines you as a Muslim, are actions that define you as a Muslim, that can make you into a better person, only if your heart is good. If your heart is not good, you can be saying the shahada 24 hours. You can be praying 24 hours. You can be fasting whole year round. You can be giving everything for zakat. You can be living inside the Kaaba. If your heart is not good, it means nothing. In fact, all of that will make you to do very bad things because you think that you are on the right way. So everything now comes back to the heart. The shahadat is not a magic word that you say, suddenly everything is going to change. It is not like some other dogmas in some other religions say, just accept, accept that his blood redeem us and you're newly born. But you still find yourself doing the same old stuff over and over again. Nothing has really changed. So Islam is teaching us the responsibility now is in your hands. It is up to you. It is a very adult, a very mature religion. Now you have to change. And no one is going to change you except for you. If you don't want to change yourself, no one can change you. But if you want to change yourself, that time Allah is saying, you take one step to me, I will take ten steps to you. You come to me walking, I will run to you. And Tariqat is teaching us that. Yes, you're praying, you're fasting, you're doing all these things. But now, it's time for you to clean your heart. There is an organ in the body, Holy Prophet said. If it is good, the whole body is good. If it is bad, the whole body is bad. And that is the heart. So now, the key is how to purify that heart. Before you start to you purify something, by doing what? Getting rid of all the impurities. That's how you make it pure. So Sufism, Tariqat Tasawuf, is to concentrate on finding out and looking at all the impurities of your heart and getting rid of it. Wake up. Don't sleep. Because you're sleeping too much. And we see all the impurities circling around, shaitan playing tricks with you. And we can see it in your face. You fall into a stupor. In the sohbat, you are somewhere else. The heart is somewhere else. Ah. So now, Tariqat is concentrating on that. The most important organ and getting rid of all the impurities. And to do that, you need a doctor of the heart, the tabibul qulub, that's what the shakes are. Because heart surgery, it is a very delicate thing. You think man standing there with a knife and he cuts open and he does something, you try to do it to yourself, you'll kill yourself. 
It is not that easy. So, why are you not putting it? What's the matter with you? You have something against it? Huh? Insisting. Like that. The shaitan is still making, the nafs is still making, repeatedly, openly, but something is there. It's blocking from that from coming through. Person must wake up. Person must be in an environment where that is always prodded to say, wake up, don't do this. This is not something through just reading or thinking by yourself. You have to be in association. Because if fixing these small things, other big things start to work. Sometimes the whole machinery is stuck because of small mistake that is in the engine, that is in the machine. You have to get rid of that, the rust. The machine is good, it's just rusty. Get rid of it. Wake up. So it has to do with the heart again. And there is no guarantee that just because you are praying, you are doing all these things, there is no guarantee that the heart is good. You understand? So now you have to go back to the beginning again. And in the Nakshabandi way, it's concentrating on that. It's concentrating on the ego. The ego, that is the thickest veil between you and opening your way to find it back to your Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, don't be sad, because what is causing people now to be cruel and to be bad? It is the ego, the biggest enemy, the ego that is friends with shaitan. So if you are not concentrating on the ego, you are friends with shaitan. That time, like I said, you can be praying whole day, whole night, but you're still friends with shaitan, and you're going to do what shaitan is saying. Just like those ones who were supporting Yazid and they were hunting down and killing the Ahlil Bayt in the Battle of Karbala. And they were saying, quickly we have to finish them off, otherwise we're going to miss Zuhur. They were praying. They were fasting. They were doing everything. So it is not these actions now. If your heart is still dirty, go to clean it. Find a doctor to clean it. Sit. And yes, sometimes it's going to be difficult, definitely. Sometimes it's going to be painful, definitely. If it's not going to be difficult and painful, that doctor is just giving you candy, you may get even more sick. You understand? Inshallah. This cruelty, this evil is happening because of the ego. And the ego is the greatest enemy. The ego is the most evil enemy creature that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ever created. That our Shah has grand Shah has said, if we are able to see our ego just for a split second, we'll fall down and die. If we're able to smell our ego for a split second, we will die. Because it is such an evil entity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created. But He has given us a spirit that if we're able to put the spirit on top of the ego, the ego now, because of so much power that it has, it will make you to rise to higher stations. It is not to destroy, to annihilate your ego. No. It is to make your ego to be able to push you up when you step on it. And for that, you need to be in a system that is 1400 years old and older than that, that is called tariqat. And the one tariqat that is concentrating on that is the Naqshbandi tariqat. We are following that, alhamdulillah, in the Osman Le Naqshbandi way, through our Sahibul Saif. We're continuing that. Assalamu alaikum.